In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use the crop video effect in order to create a split frame. So you can actually make it look like someone is walking right through a wall, right through a pole, or whatever you like to do. Let's get started. Looking over at my project files here, you can see that I have a video and I have two sound effects that were already imported in. If I scrub across, you can see the extensions. So there is a movie file and two MP3 files. Drag your movie file over onto the timeline and it will create a new sequence for you. As I scrub across, you'll hear that there is audio that is attached to the video that was taken from the camera. I want to remove the audio, so I'm just going to click on the audio and then delete. If for some reason your audio and your video are linked, you'll have to right click and scroll down and you would hit unlink. And then that way you'd be able to click on the audio and delete it. But for right now, they were unlinked, so I don't have to do that. As I'm moving across, you'll notice that the character in this window here, he walks over and he hits the pole. And then he walks away. And then on the next shot, he is walking past the pole. What I want to be able to do is create a freeze frame that when he is walking towards the pole, it actually looks like he's going to walk through it. Right now, there is nothing in this view. I'm going to export just a still image, a JPEG. File, export, media, up in the format, scroll down to JPEG, it says JPEG sequence, match source, I'm just going to match source for now. You want to make sure that the output is going to where you're saving your files. And here I'm going to just call it mascot poll video, that's fine. And right now, I'm just going to move it down to the one frame. And export. I'm going to bring back that file. So file import. And I'm looking for the mascot video. Once you have your JPEG, drag it onto a video channel that is higher than your other video. And I'm just going to turn the eye off of this right now. So I don't actually see my video. All I'm seeing is my image. I'm also going to image stretch and drag this all the way across the whole timeline. As I'm doing this, over on your effects, type in crop and drag this crop onto your video two channel, which is your image. And just make sure that you did actually put it on the right one. And then I'm just gonna stretch this out now so I can see it better. So I'm just going to click and drag my mouse and I'm going to bring it right to about 51%. You can click in and just type it in manually if you'd like and that's fine as well. And now that I scrub across, I can see that my character is just going to look like he's going right through the pole. If you want to see what it looks like without the split frame, if I turn the eye off of that layer, which is my JPEG layer, I can scrub to the end where I know that the character has gone past the pole. And then if I turn the eye back on, he'll be gone. This split layer here, the JPEG, is covering him as he passes the pole. Now I want to add some sound effects. I'm going to zoom in and scrub back to the beginning where he actually presses his hands up against the pole. And right about here I'm going to put that boing sound. Then I'm going to go towards the end where I know that he starts running. And drag that in. It starts off a little slow. I can roll my clip up and then drag it back to where he starts running in.
I've extended the program view here so that I can try to watch it and see what it's looking like so far. I have to make sure that I'm scrubbing back to the beginning of the timeline. If I just scrub at the very beginning here, I see my video. I have noticed that in my program view here, whenever I try to play it, my computer seems to be lagging, so I'm probably going to have to export this video if I want to see the full effect. But let's give it a shot here. I'm going to hit the spacebar on my keyboard, and I can see that the character is going into the pole, the boing sounds works, and he walks away. Now it's really starting to lag. And obviously the running came in at the wrong time. I decided to export my video. I found that it was lagging a lot in Premiere from my computer. I am working with a laptop and I know that it does lag a lot in Premiere. Watching my video over, I can see that my technique did work. I also noticed that the video is lagging itself because I do have a lot of things being played at the same time. Again, we'll watch that. You can see the character walks up, the boing sound comes in, he leaves, he runs in and he'll run right through the pole.